here with head coach Mike Roisland after a 66-61 win over the Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs. And Mike, the quick offensive start really propelled you guys tonight, didn't it? Yeah, it really helped. I thought it got us into a, a comfort zone uh, on the offensive side, and, and then I thought, I thought it helped fuel our defense a little bit. So we kind of, you know, kind of had it going both ways a little bit. I think the biggest thing is that it gave the team mm -hmm. confidence that okay, we can do the things we're trying to set out here to do. I think a lot of a lot of people expected Duluth to check to chip their way back into the game. They did. How do you, how do you like your girls' response to to pull off the win here tonight? Well, I thought it was huge. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, you got to stay really resilient in this game. And big leads are uh, early in the game really don't mean mm -hmm. a lot because you got to play all four quarters. I mean, no a team like Duluth is so good that they're going to make runs back. I, I was really impressed the way that they were pushing the ball mm -hmm. in the second quarter. We struggled with that a little bit, and then then I, but what I was really happy with our team down the stretch. I mean, uh, Duluth took the lead, and, and we were able to stay the course mm -hmm. and, and uh, stay stay tough. And that's one of the things you've, you've got to. You You've got to learn how to do in this league is to win the tough ones mm -hmm. to be able to bounce back and when things aren't going your way. I mean, I thought we were really, really were loose with the basketball, mm -hmm. especially in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just, uh, it could have come back to cost us, but mm -hmm. uh, there, there again, we got enough stops on the defensive side to get a win. A little bit of an offensive struggle yesterday. Today, different story, hit a lot of three-pointers and including Caitlin Michaels with the go-ahead three at the end. Uh, so that's got to be good for your team as well. Hit some shots here tonight. Yeah, well, we needed that. We need that because mm -hmm. everybody's been uh, d doubling EC up mm -hmm. down there and, and uh, really packing it in the lane. And it, obviously, we really struggle with our shooting all the way around mm -hmm. with everybody last night. And, and uh, so we can't. You can't. If, if that's the case, we're going to be in trouble. But uh, they were resilient. I thought a lot of people responded. I was really happy that she hit that. But we got a lot of good play out of a lot of good, a lot, mm -hmm. a lot of people tonight. And like I said, had enough balance. And and we're going to be able to need to do that to make yep. teams if they're going to take the pain away from us and try to get the ball out of Easy's hands mm -hmm. that we can knock down that outside shot. Well, Mike, obviously you want to enjoy this one, but next week doesn't get any easier with Northern State and Minnesota State Moorhead. So uh, what's it going to take for uh, the Golden Eagles to come away with two wins next week? Well, I think that we just, you know, we've played them before, mm -hmm. so I think that we have an idea. I think that they know what we're, we're going to be coming with, so it's a matter of executing. I mean, I think that we just need to, you know, this, this will help build some confidence to yep. say, okay, we closed this week out well. Maybe we didn't start out so well, but closed it out well. And, and uh, moving forward to next week, we know that, that Northern's a really a tough place to play in and it's tough to get a win at, at MSUM and but but we know that if, if we do the things take care of our doorstep and mm -hmm. do the things that we can do well we'll give ourselves a chance all right congrats again Mike and uh, thanks thank you